Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and I'm the founder and owner of TechViews Health. And today I'm going to show you how to make and encrypt a folder within Windows. And I actually make it encrypted to the point that other users on Windows can't access it. And how to encrypt it from even yourself as far as you need to put in a password. Or, or just have it where it won't. You, when you log in you can see it but no one else and also how to make a account with uh, command prompt and almost all the stuff in command prompt and uh, how to make someone administrator rights in command prompt how to give them a password in command prompt and several other things like that I'll point them out as we go on now before we jump into this I want to mention something real quick again a lot of this is in command prompt, so pretty much any version of Windows it should work on. But there's a few things in the options area that might be different. Um, and specifically when you go into the properties of folders, it might be a little bit different from each version of Windows. The version I'm showing on the video is Windows 7. The other thing I want to mention really quickly is the video I'm about to show you is actually a pre-recording that I made not too long ago and um, it's a uh, recording of me getting into a remote network server getting into the virtual machine of the network specifically that part and um, and basically controlling their virtual machine and I obviously had permission at a time that's actually my school's network now because of that the the what you're going to see at times is a little laggy and some other stuff but there's nothing I can do about that because that's actually how it is when you're connecting into a remote network unless if both sides have a extremely high-end stable network which is probably not going to happen at all even in companies and even in governments it's not that way so anyways let's uh, jump on in and get this thing done now as far as this my password I'm logged in with is password simply as that it's uh, provided by school I go into the command prompt and at this point I actually and I uh, stopped a little bit by the actual settings within the virtual machine, but I wanted to customize the command prompt to what I normally have it, so I just change the colors, and you can do this in even Windows 8. And I actually got a couple of videos on that, and and as normal, I'll make the screen bigger. But as far as this, I basically am making a folder, so the MK. And DIR is making the folder and the folder since private and now I'm getting into the folder itself so I can add things into it and look into it so when you press DIR you can see everything within that folder so at a time I was in the C drive now I'm in the private folder and now I am making a um, a file I believe Now as far as this goes, I go in and I encrypt the actual file by, remember it's in C drive and then private because that's w what I made and just hit properties, events, then encrypt, okay, then apply, and then just okay. And what you will notice is the name actually turns green whenever I, I press okay and move on and this is just indicating if it's encrypted or not so going back in a command prompt I 
again sorry about the lag it's uh, from the network I'm making a user and I'm going to call him Jesse James and the password which is you see right here is cowboy I misstep it. it's very important that you put in the right one so as you see here user is Jesse James cowboy which is next to it is the actual password and slash add is adding the actual user now I'm making it into a administrator without making the user you can't make the administrator so that's something to keep in mind And um, as you see there, it's successful. You, you'll get an error if, if you can't find it. <clears throat> and now I'm trying to f figure out what administrators are on the network, the local network. And as you see here, it's there. And that's a good way to check. So from here, I should be logging out. And... Um, Logging into the the um, Jesse James account again. Sorry for the lag. It's it's the network. And I type in the password, which is the cowboy. I um, and that's again pretty important to remember the password. The username's not really as important. Now going in here, just trying to clear all that out because it just created a new user. And going in there and seeing if I can get into the uh, file and show you that even as an administrator, I'm not able to get into uh, the file because it's a different user. It's very important. Keep in mind the student account is administrator and this account is measure so both accounts are measure so now I'm slog off here since I showed what I wanted to and I log back in with the uh, password which is very important to remember that the name is password in this and there's a reason for me bringing this up twice because I'm actually going to show you what happens when you change the password to the account and, and how it keeps you from getting into that file. So as you see here, now that I'm in the right user account, it's allowing me in. And I should be pulling up command prompt soon or something. Oh, and uh, right here I, I add the certificates. And just go to user account and um, it should be within there. And just go to manage your encryption certificates. And then next, I, and I believe it's next almost all the way through. Up to the point when you have to add the location, which is right here, and then you just hit browse and just type in the location. So, right here, I'm actually doing this for school and trying to grab the name that they want to make sure that everything's above board and um, right here I just make the uh, password for the certificate which is actually very important to note because whatever your password is for here it um, and the password I'm putting in here it, I, the school actually gave it to me to put into here 
so so it's pretty important for me to get that right. But the password is it's pretty important for you to enter in the right password. Other words, you won't be able to get into that file. And I'll show you in a second you know, where you won't be able to get into it. So right here, you need to make sure that your um, C drive is clicked. Or whatever area. And then... I should be going into command prompt about now. And this is where I change the password. All right, as you see here, the password was changed successfully. So just log out, log back in. The password's changed to 123. And that's successful. And that, that's, that's the way you change your password if you need to, if, if you can't get to the user area. Now, of course, in school, it's using school servers and company servers. That's not the way to do it, because your password's probably store on a server, and you're gonna mess up the whole thing. So, right here, now the password's changed. This is saying no. This is not good. So, I'm not able to open up and see the text in there. It's encrypted. So I can go into the documents, go into the certificate, and enter in the password. So it says it's imported. And now let's try again. And it should work. So anyways, this has been Greg Bennett, and I'm the founder and owner of TechFuse Nope. And if you found this video helpful, then please leave a like, please subscribe, and please share. And please visit techfusenope.com and if you do have any questions, feel free to leave them down below or suggestions, leave them down below and I'll try to get to it as quickly as possible. And anyways, uh, you know what to do and hope you have a great day.